Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can calculate the solubility of a polymer in a solution like an engineer. Please subscribe down low if you want to see more videos and let's jump right into it. If you want to see, if you want to know the solubility of a normal solution, usually you're working with the concentration and there's a concentration limit that you have to oblige to. Now, in reality, the solubility is actually influenced by three different factors. The solubility calculated like an engineer is actually done via the Hansen parameters. It actually explains the solubility based on three different levels. The first level is solubility between a polymer and uh, a certain solution is actually influenced by the polar components. So that's why we call delta P the polar components. This is the first influence on the solubility of a polymer inside of a solution. The second part is actually the dispersion influence. The dispersion influence is nothing more than the free energy that is actually created when suspended particles are interacting with uh, the solution. And then the third part that we have to include is actually the hydrogen bonding. The hydrogen bonding will also have an influence on the way certain chemicals will actually solute inside of a solution. Now, how do we all bring them together? Well, the first thing that we have to do is we actually have to um, solve the energy equation. And what that actually means is that we're going to sum the square roots of all three parts together in order to have a value that is representative for the solution. Now, to be able to know the Hansen ratio, which is called uh, number R, you actually have to equal it to the square root of the differences between both the Hansen parameters of the solute and, on the other hand, the solution itself. So the way that we're going to do that is you actually have to subtract them from each other, each of the different components. And you square them. Excuse my writing sometimes. I have to extend this a bit. So what do, does this equation actually tell us? Now we're actually looking at the three different components and see what the difference is between them, both between the solute and otherwise the solution itself. The delta P are the polar components, the delta D is the dispersion, and the delta H are the hydrogen components. That's how you actually calculate the R value, and the R value has three different scenarios. If the R is actually larger than one, which means that if the difference between the Hansen parameters becomes too big, they will not dissolve. If it's equal to one, they will actually partially dissolve, not completely. And then when the R is smaller than one, they will completely dissolve. Usually how this is represented in engineering is you want to uh, visualize this in a 3D space where you put three Hansen parameters, the polar one, the hydrogen one, and the dispersion one in a 3D system. And you partially check the value of your solute. And you check the value of uh, your solution. And then you actually check what the distance is between. That's actually what this R value means. That's how you can actually calculate um, whether two different components are dissolvable into each other. And you can do that. Uh, and this is a very accurate way to do it. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. And we'll see each other tomorrow. Cheers.